Good afternoon, it's Fred Bretzky, just teaching a little bit of third year shop from my living whiteboard here at home. So this is one of the examples of what we can do in third year shop. So this would be on the left hand mezzanine in our commercial shop and we could, where we have a pony wall and we could do a project on either side of it as you can see here. Right? That. So the whole idea of this is in three or four weeks when we're ready to do shop, we're going to be teaching commercial third year uh, circuit venting or commercial circuit venting and residential. This would be the commercial shop. So what we want the students to do is there's pre-drilled holes in the mezzanine is to do something similar to this. So if we look at this, this is a typical circuit vent. So on the right would be the upstream part as we go in direction of flow and this would be the actual circuit vent. This part right here this is sized by 2545 subsection C and we want the students to do that. This is the wet portion of the circuit vent. This right here would be the dry portion of the circuit vent and that dry portion of the circuit vent would be sized by 2583. And of course, we want our students to measure the developed length. The developed length of a circuit vent is from the horizontal solar waste pipe connection to the vent stack, stack vent header or outside air. In this case, it would be to outside air. So they would have to measure this in meters to find out the size of this circuit vent. And of course, you size the wet portion by 2545 subsection C. As it says right here, on these uh, urinals because the the bathroom on the other side is identical it's just opposite so these are three fixture unit urinals as you can find in two four nine three you have to figure out which ones that are three fixture units and then of course you'd have to figure out the sizes of these two branches or this is a branch and this is a fixture drain right so we want to know what they are too in the circumvented branch and then of course at the end we have two flushometer toilets how many fixed units is a flushometer toilet worth well we know they're worth six FUs right each from 2493 you want to find out and of course the circuit vented branch goes right here from where the circuit, the, right where the circuit vent starts, the dry portion, because it goes right down to the horizontal, the circuit vented branch goes right along here and it ends at the relief vent, which is going to be right here. And that relief vent has or can have up to six fixture units dumping down it. And we only have one and a half or one, depending on how you rate this laugh, which works good. Right, that tells us that in 2531. Now the dry portion of the circuit vent, which is this part right here, well that part right there, that's sized by 2573. These are the things I want my students to know when they do the roughing. And then of course the CVB, which is down here, is sized by 2531. 9b and also by the branch table which we're going to call the circuit vented branch table we're going to borrow the branch table which is found in 2410.6b and these are the code clauses that I'm going to want you to know as you do your circuit vent or commercial circuit vent on the mezzanine for third year so that's it for today uh, my next lesson I'm going to show you a little bit how to do another commercial circuit vent, but it will be on the right-hand mezzanine in the commercial shop. Thanks for viewing.